Welcome to the support video for Workload Automation video series. This video will demonstrate how to start Contram Postgres SQL database when the service started briefly and stopped after Windows reboot. When Microsoft Windows Server hosting Contram products such as Contram Enterprise Manager, Server, or Workload Archiving, was rebooted without stopping the Postgres SQL database service first, the database service may not start after the reboot. There is no obvious error observed when attempting to start the service from the Windows Service Manager. However, on the Windows event log, there was an entry showing the description for event ID 0 from source Postgres SQL cannot be found. And there is an indication that show the Postgres database configuration file may contain invalid entries. If attempted to start the Postgres SQL database from the bin directory on the command prompt, there is a clear indication that the database service experienced syntax error on line 103 and 104 of the configuration file. Let us look at line 103 and 104 on the Postgres SQL database configuration file. First, navigate to the Contram Products Postgres SQL Installation Data Subdirectory. Locate the Postgres SQL.conf file and open with a text editor to review. On line 103 and 104, Notice that there are variables definition for time zone and log underscore time zone. It seems the definition are wrong and needs to be corrected. Also, ensure the values are enclosed in single quotes, which appears to be missing in this case. To correct these values, please save the file as a backup of the existing file in case there is a need to revert. Open the file again and add single quotes before and after the time zone and log time zone variable values. After the configuration file is saved, start the Postgres SQL database service again from Windows Services Manager. Now, you can see the database service started normally. If you are unsure of which time zone values to be specified for these two variables, you can also comment off the two variables with a hash character in front of the variable names. Ensure the time zone values defined are correct and available on the Windows host. This can be verified with the system administrator. If not explicitly set, the server initializes these variables to the time zone specified by its system environment. Once the database is up and running, proceed to start the Contram application. In this case, Contram server is started. That concludes this Contram Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.